fashion. Rihanna faces backlash for casting Johnny Depp in New Savage X Fenty Show. Published 4th November 2022. Written by Oscar Holland, CNN. Actor Johnny Depp is set to appear in Rihanna's New Savage X Fenty Fashion Show, sparking online outrage and calls to boycott the singer's lingerie brand. The 59-year-old actor, who claimed he was backlisted by Hollywood amid his high-profile legal battle with ex-wife Amber Heard, has already filmed his cameo in the runway extravaganza, which debuts on Amazon's Prime Video next week. Although Depp is not named in press materials or the show's trailer, his appearance has been confirmed directly by CNN. Neither representatives for Rihanna nor Amazon immediately responded to requests for comment about the decision to cast Depp. Described by Amazon as a seductive fashion fever dream, the fourth edition of the label's star-studded show features performances by Anita and Burn the Boy, as well as appearances from Cara Delevingne, Simu Liu and TikTok star Bella Porch. Once news of Depp's involvement emerged, fans began calling for Rihanna to remove his scenes. Editing team better be out here deleting this man out of this, read one response to a post promoting the show on Savage X Fentwise Instagram account. On Twitter, users expressed their disapproval using the hashtag number DitchDep, with some threatening to boycott the label. Music producer Drew Dixon described the decision to cast the actor as really disappointing, while British singer and actor Ali Alexander, who has previously collaborated with Savage X Fenty on a social media campaign, announced on social media that he won't be wearing the brand any longer. Look of the week, Rihanna's giant boots were made for stomping. With the show not due to stream until Wednesday, some commenters question whether Depp would even make the final cut. For those outraged, I would wait and see if this actually happens, tweeted author Art Tavana. This isn't how Rihanna rolls. Her branding is bulletproof. Following his divorce in 2017, Depp sued her for $50 million over a Washington Post op-ed in which she described herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. Her then countersued him for $100 million, leading to an explosive televised trial in which both were found liable for defamation, though the jury awarded significantly larger damages to Depp. Her maintains that Depp abused her during their marriage, a claim the Pirates of the Caribbean actor has consistently denied. Depp has also said that he was the victim of domestic violence, a claim that some of his supporters compared to Rihanna's own experience of abuse while in a relationship with singer Chris Brown. Survivors Supporting Survivors, wrote one Twitter user in support of the singer's casting choice. During this six-week trial, Depp claimed that Hurt's accusations had led to him being dropped from future Pirates of the Caribbean movies. The actor also lost his role in the Fantastic Beasts movie franchise following his unsuccessful UK libel case against a British newspaper over domestic violence allegations. Depp has nonetheless made several high-profile appearances in the months since June's verdict. In August, he made a surprise cameo at MTV's Video Music Awards, where a video of his face was superimposed onto a life-size moon man floating above the stage. I just want you guys to know that I'm available for birthdays, bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs, weddings, wakes, any old thing you need, he joked to the audience. Paloma Elsesser, the model who overcame otherness, in his first major return to screens, Depp is set to appear as King Louis XV in the forthcoming French movie, La Favored. He has also reprised his voice role as Johnny Puff in the animated TV series, Puffin's Impossible, and is set to direct a film about Italian artist Ambio Modigliani, according to both Deadline and The Hollywood Reporter. Savage X Fenty, which also makes men's underwear, has been praised in the past for its inclusive sizing and diverse casting. Johnny Depp has been married two times and both of his ex-wives have reported racist behavior in speaking and both times it was in legal proceedings. Sources say he paid his first wife, that's Johnny Depp that is, Lorianne Allison $1.25 million to keep quiet after he allegedly left a long ranting message in which he repeatedly used the N-word. The previously unreported settlement was accomplished using fictitious names to avoid scrutiny, with Richard Green serving as a, the stand-in for Johnny Depp. And
Amber Heard claims Johnny Depp threatened to get some black brothers to rape her. Holly Christodoulou and Chris Pollard. July 20th, 2020 and updated July 21st, 2020. Johnny Depp threatened to get some black brothers to rape Amber Heard during the violent private jet row, a court her today. The Pirates of the Caribbean star allegedly made a string of graphic remarks to the actress as they traveled between Boston and L.A. in 2014. He then kicked her hard in the back as he accused her of having an affair with her co-star James Franco, it was said. The astonishing claim was made as her today took to the witness box at the high court at the blockbuster trial. In her witness statement, Heard said, Johnny sat in front of me on one of the seats opposite. I was in freeze mode. I could see he was mad and drunk and high on drugs. I started by trying not to provoke him. I knew there was nothing I could do to placate him. At one point, I got up to move elsewhere on the plane and he said, Are you fucking walking away from me? And he kicked me hard in the back. The high court heard today. Amber claims Depp explicitly threatened to kill me many times. She also said he would threaten to carve her face up if she left him. The star accused Depp of branding her a slut and fame-hungry. Heard claims the actor demeaned her over time. She also said he was on a huge list of prescribed medications. The court was told her weight plummeted and she was scared all the time. And her claims Depp boasted about knowing people who could break a leg real cheap. Depp also allegedly threatened to get some black brothers to rape her. She also alleges Depp kneeled on her back and hit the back of her head in a row in Tokyo over a pre middle dot nup. Heard revealed she never felt more lonely than she did on her wedding night. Depp allegedly told her when referring to their relationship, the only way out of this is death. Heard also denied claims made by Depp she is a gold digger, and she denied lying about her drug taking and drinking. I fell to my hands and knees, mortified. I wouldn't look at him. He was screaming at me, taunting me, saying something like, James Franco fucker, fucking look at me. He was still drinking heavily and kept on verbally insulting me, trying to get my attention. He kept verbally abusing me, saying things like, when we land, I can call some black brothers who can fuck you if you're so desperate for it. I didn't react, so he took off his boot and threw it at me. At some point he also threw a fork at me. He eventually went to the bathroom and passed out. No one said anything or reacted. Johnny Depp accused Amber Heard and James Franco of having an affair. The court heard previously how Depp branded Heard a go-getting slut who liked getting fucked by her rapey co-star James Franco in the row. The actor also allegedly hurled ice cubes at his wife during the row and kicked a chair so hard it swiveled round and hit her. He then stormed into the bathroom and passed out drunk on the floor, it was said. But Depp has denied the claims of violence against his wife, saying he went to the bathroom to sleep on the floor. And a text from Depp to his actor pal Paul Bettany was read to the court where the star said he was an angry, aggro engine in a fucking blackout, screaming obscenities and insulting any fuck who got near. Heard is giving evidence today at the high-profile trial and claims Depp attacked her 14 times over three years, which he denies. He is suing The Sun for referring to him as a wife beater in a 2018 article. The Sun, supported by Miss Heard, says the term was justified. The court was told today how Depp would threaten to carve Heard's face up if she ever left him or hurt him. Heard also claimed Depp threatened to kill her many times during explosive drug fueled rows. She said, he explicitly threatened to kill me many times. He would blame all his actions on a self-created third person, which he often called the monster. He talked about our relationship being dead or alive and told me that death was the only way out of the relationship. He described what he wanted to do to me if I left him or hurt him, for example, carving my face up so no one else would want me. He also said what he would do to others he didn't like or was threatened by, detailing how he wanted to have someone tortured or how cheap and easy it would be to have someone knock off. Heard told the high court how her way plummeted while she was with Depp, claiming she was left scared all the time. 
the star added. Over the years, Johnny threatened me a lot about me leaving him. He would talk about what he would do to me if I left him, such as, I will cut up your face so no one will want you ever again and about how he knew people who could break a leg, real cheap. Heard also claimed Epp made all kinds of demeaning and derogatory comments about actresses and branded them as being like two-bit whores. And the star also claimed Epp would demean her if she wore anything seen as sexy, calling her a horror, slut and fame-hungry. Heard added, he started saying things like, well I'm going to have to watch you get raped and I hope you get drilled by a bunch of fucking fellas. Depp also allegedly told her when referring to their relationship, the only way out of this is death. And she today refuted previous claims made by Depp and his pals she was a gold digger as she dabbed her nose with a tissue from the witness box. Heard added, what Johnny says about my so-called agenda in marrying him, for financial benefit or to somehow further my career, is preposterous. I remain financially independent from him the whole time we were together and the entire amount of my divorce settlement was donated to charity. In fact, my desire to remain financially independent was one of the main sources of conflict during our relationship. The actress, who wore a white blouse and black skirt, is expected to spend three days in the witness box as she goes face to face with Depp, 57. The star beamed and waved at the crowds as she arrived at the High Court in London today. The actress, who wore a white blouse and black skirt, is expected to spend three days in the witness box as she goes face to face with Depp, 57. Depp also smiled as he was mobbed by fans when he arrived at court in a dark suit today. Heard has accused Depp of hitting her for the first time in early 2013 when he turned into a monster and claims he subjected her to a three-day hostage rampage in Australia in 2015. She also claims the Pirates of the Caribbean star chucked a magnum of champagne at her and grabbed her hair when he showed up late to her 30th birthday bash in a drug-fueled rage. Depp gave evidence for five days at the start of the three-week trial. Shocking details of the couple's tumultuous marriage were played out to the court as he took to the stand, including claims she or a pal pooed in their marital bed after the birthday row. A glimpse into Depp's wild Hollywood lifestyle was also revealed, including him admitting he drank a pint of wine for breakfast and started taking drugs age 11. Depp is accused of turning his rage and frustration on her when he failed to control his drug and alcohol abuse. The actor descended into physically destructive behavior, causing him to refer to his drunken and violent persona as the monster, it was said, but in a series of explosive revelations, Depp has branded Heard's abuse allegations complete lies. And he called his ex-wife calculating, sociopathic and emotionally dishonest as he accused her of building a dossier of false allegations as an insurance policy. Depp also accused her of pooing in their marital bed after a birthday bust-up, which he says was the catalyst for their bitter divorce. The star also claims her severed his finger during a trip to Australia in 2015 by throwing a vodka bottle at him and accused her of repeatedly punching him in the face. He has brought separate libel proceedings against her in the US. The couple married in LA in 2015 after meeting on the set of comedy, The Rom Diary. But they divorced two years later after Heard, who donated her pound, 5.5 million settlement to charity, accused Depp of abuse. The case continues. So, as you go through those three days of Australia, some pretty horrendous things happen to her. He rips off her nightgown. He has her jammed up against a bar. He has hurled bottles and bottles at her. He has dragged her across the floor on the broken bottles and the liquor. He has punched her. He has kicked her. He tells her he's going to fucking kill her. He fucking hates her. He's pounding at her, pounding her. And then he penetrates her with a liquor bottle. 